Hi everyone. Good morning, United States. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hello everybody. Road download. Today is Thursday. And I'm going to wait a little bit to those who are coming in. Those who are in the Philippines. Glory to God. I love you, Pabi. God, we bless you. I thank you, Lord. As you come in, I just want to go ahead and lift up my voice and just praise God. Through our words is power. Through our words is declaration. Through our words are laws. Hi, Mang. Good morning. Uh, good evening, Mang. And hello, Vito. How are you? Hi, Ralph from Singapore. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for joining me. And I just want to acknowledge uh, Vito is watching from Dubai. And glory to God. Vito, thank you for joining uh, in Dubai. And Net, my sister-in-law, thank you, Net. I love you. Praying for you. And thank you for joining me. God bless you. Uh, I'm just, I just want to speak words of life to you. I just want to... Uh, activate what God is truly doing in your life and I want to release all the words to all of you who are listening right now Vito thank God for you and keep fired up keep keep staying on the track of where God is taking you Pastor Jonathan I love you Pastor Jonathan keep your fire burning keep your love for God um, so thank you so much for joining me this morning and as you come in you know I would just like to go ahead and invite you um, you know invite you to con to just open our mouths and praise the Lord to just lift up our voices to him there is power in the words that we speak not just power to those who are gonna hear it but power that you're going to release into your life unto yourself unto your spirit so we can speak to our own inner man and inner spirit that it can change the the atmosphere that it can change the mood and we can switch the frequency we can switch our hearts into the frequency of God's heart thank you good morning Pamela good morning Esther hello everybody if I don't see you uh, right now on my Facebook live I just want to let you know First and foremost, um, I love you all so much. It is the love of God. Sometimes in life, if we don't know where to go, and if we don't feel uh, like you know nothing is changing, if we are just that at the end of a point where we feel like you are in in a wall, you know, try, uh, just just get in God and remind ourselves who God is, that He is love. And knowing that He is love, it will cause a change in the inside of our hearts and our spirits. So thank you so much to all of you. Uh, Pastor Jonathan, thank you from Tresa Martyr City from the Philippines. Uh, Sister pa uh, Apostle Pamela is from South Carolina. So thank you so much, guys. It's raining here in Florida, but it is raining with blessings and showers from the Lord. This is a sign that we take that God is alive we have a living God that he is continually showering us God is not just trickling blessings God is not just dropping little drops onto our spirits he has he has sent the rain of who himself is he has sent the rain of heaven in us so let's continually be in that uh you know in the midst of the rain of his glory so thank you so much hello pastor jonathan so this morning i just i want to share this with you and i love you so much and i'm looking forward to seeing you again mighty woman of god uh you you have a calling and you're being called to prosper not just to prosper but to prosper so you can help others to prosper as well you're prospering in the inside of you um, so let me go ahead and share what God has shown me you know in the spirit and I was 
meditating as I was praying in God last night. And I was thinking about it this morning. I was asking God what he wants me to share this morning. And even before I go to road download, I keep asking God and trying to hear from God. And so, you know, I'm looking at other things and reading the Bible. And then he reminded me again of what he has shown me in the vision of what I saw to share with you because as I opened the Bible and reading to it, there was a confirmation. There was a confirmation of what I was seeing. And I said, there it is. That's what God wants me to share with you, to all of you. Hi, Peter. Good morning, Peter from Jacksonville. I, I'm not sure if you're still in Jacksonville. God bless you, Peter and your family. Thank you for joining in. Glory to God. So um, I just want to share what I have uh, last night seen and it is hard to explain when you see some things and it's difficult to really picture it uh, and draw it into a reality to really describe it by details and so but I will try my best to clearly be able to relate to you what it is that God is speaking not to just some people but to all of you good morning Chris um, Chris, I love you, sister. Good morning, Ray. I see Ray. If you want to do a thumbs up, I can see who you are when you do the thumbs up. And sometimes it's not showing on my screen who is watching right now. But wherever you are, I just want to let you know I thank you so much. There is always a fresh download of the Holy Spirit in us and in you. Every day is a fresh download. So even if I do road download only on Thursdays, just remember, find the download of God. The download of God is here. But when I say find it, is seek for it. Find it in the inside and in the spirit. You know, you will have to go a little deeper because God resides not just in the superficial things, but He resides in the deeper parts of our hearts. He resides in the depths, the inner depths, like, you know, the inner courts. So it is available to us, but sometimes because of the things of this world, because of the cares of this world, because of the regular routine that we have to do, like, you know, I got to go to work, but behind the those things if we go beyond and deeper we will find what God has already placed in us and given in us and that is what we are going to receive in the power to overtake what's on the outside once we get into the inner courts and to the inner man and to the inner depths of our spirit then those things on the on the natural and those things on the physical will be overtaken and that's what we have to do every day because the promise of god hello hello uh yes peter thank you so much the the promise of god has already come to pass the promise of God has already been fulfilled. So where is it? Why, is, why are we not able to tap into it? Why are we still seeing the things and going through some things in this world that are like opposition to what the promise of God says? Because the things that we see in the surroundings, a lot of it is to cover our eyes, to cover our ears, to numb our hearts, and to really infect us with the worldly system. But we as children of God have that inner place, that inner man, that inner depth where the Holy Spirit resides. And so, and, and we have to start learning to how to get there and be there and know we are with it and with God and in the courts of God. So um, it's just so important that I sense that in my spirit that there is that place. And I'm praying that for all of you, that when Jesus said, go to your closet and pray, He's saying, go to the go to the inner place, the hiding place. Go to that place that no one can see you. Go to that hiding place that only you and God can see. That's the place of your intimacy with God. That's the place that you and Him can only be in that moment to be intimate with Him. Your closet of prayer, your closet of communing with God is a private place. It is a private place between you and God. 
What an awesome God. And I thank you for that private place that's in the inside of me. Thank you, God, for that private place that you and I can access. Why? Because that private and inner place is in us, with us, and us. We are that private place where God wants to reside. He is in us. So every time we go into that private place, wow, don't you, don't you feel the glory of God, the goodness of God, and you just get so, so revived? And you know, when you have that private moment and private time, you know, even with your, your spouse, your family, your mom, your dad, your child, when you start becoming intimate with them and have that private time, the private time means just you and and that person you and God and you will savor you will sense that that great awesome not just feelings but great awesome spirit that consumes you so I just want to let you know that we all have that private place when was the last time you have been in your private place with God you know we have private places to go to the bathroom Hi, uh, Deo. Hi, good morning, Alva. Good to see you. Love you, sister. When you go to the bathroom, that's a private place. That's a private place of what? Your own self and you from others. You know, but in God, in God, you are that, <laughs> I don't want to say you are that bathroom, but you are that room. You are that room where you allow God to come in you and you got nothing to hide from God. You, and, and God has nothing to hide from you. God has nothing to hide from you. He actually wants to expose himself, truly tell you who he is. Because God wants you to become like him. That is when we go in the private room that we truly expose ourselves with the Father and say, Father, here I am. I'm naked before you. That's why Adam and Eve, they were naked before God. They were naked before God because they see themselves just like God, just like who he is. So they're not embarrassed. They're not ashamed of themselves. You know, so when sin came, when they disobeyed God, then they have to find something to cover themselves because they lost the intimacy with God. They lost that intimacy with God that they're seeing themselves, but not seeing who God is. And the, the covering, the glory of God has came out and was gone when they disobeyed God. So we are now back in our closet. We are now back in the private room. We are now back into our nakedness before God. Because we are, you know, we are what we were before. In the beginning, we were all naked before God. And we have to be naked again in Christ. There's nothing more to hide. God knows everything. God knows everything. And so in Christ, let us be naked because in Christ is what God is going to see in our spirit, in our hearts, that the Son of Man, that the Son of God is in us and residing in us and that we are the resemblance of the sons. We are the resemblance of the Son of God and we are the resemblance of God himself. So there is that private place that we have to be in. And I can't take that private place from you. I can't, you can't take that private place from me, from God. I alone, that's why we work our own salvation. It is you and God. It is I and God. And um, I don't know how I got there, but I just want to, you know, share that with you. Because um, God is awesome. God is good. God is not just looking for disciples. Let me say that again. God is not just looking for disciples. He's looking for that love from the sons of man. You know, God is love. So we, we also release the love that we have. It is a mutual thing. It is a mutual thing. That's why we're able to love because God loves us first. So now we can be in union with God with the love that he has shown us. But let me let me go ahead and share what what I have uh, when I was praying, when I was meditating last night, and I truly saw this in the spirit. I saw something like, uh, you know, it's it's not a shell. It's it's like a covering. There was like a covering, but it's a hard covering. It's like a layer of covering over something that is in the inside of it that 
I was not supposed to uncover it. And, and I said, you know, that it has to stay there. That covering, that layer, and, and I'm thinking about this of us, that there sometimes in our lives, and there's a season in our lives, that we are going to be covered. That we are not going to be exposed yet. That we have to be covered because we are under and going through the process of incubation. We are going through the process of incubation because it is not time for us to be out there yet to see the glory and the, uh, the, uh, the light of God through us. And so I was saying that in, sometimes in our journey life in the spirit, we may not see that we're moving forward and maybe you're not. You're not moving forward. Maybe you're not taking step. Maybe you're not advancing, you know, and you're wondering and you're not seeing things coming to pass. And that's okay. That's okay because God is God is still hovering over you. That because that time of the season, we got to remember that there is a season that we have to be just immovable being in that a place that we should stay still and be incubated, be bathed, be in the bask of the glory of God, be in the warmth of God. There will be a layering. And I was thinking about this, about the chicken. The chicken uh, hovers over the eggs, you know, but inside the egg is already a chicken. So, but the chicken has to hatch the chicken, the, the eggs, so that it will continue to grow in the inside. And so when I saw this vision, I wasn't seeing the egg. I was just seeing like a, like a, you know, a layer and, and the outer part was like rough and it was kind of like, you know, grayish and nothing that will attract anyone to even pay attention to it. So the outer side, the outer side is protecting actually what's in the inside. So sometimes when we see trials and tribulations and testings and sufferings, and we're going through that, that's great. We have to think of that in our mindset. Hey, I am so covered right now of these things. Because these things are just my outer layer. The things of this world are just my outer layer. So come on. You know, that's why we have the Spirit of God. We should not be afraid and say, you know, we are born for this. We are being born for this. That the layer on the outside is what is incubating us and allowing us to grow in the inside until that proper time when God says, and he said, because during during this vision that I saw, I was trying to peel up, I was trying to uncover, I was trying to look what's on that layer and cover. And God said, no, it is not time yet. And it says there is a time, you know, I felt like I was just speaking, but there is a time that God will crack open the mantle, will not the mantle, the covering, the layer. Uh, thank you, Ray. He will crack all those apart and away. And then the shine will, uh, the light will shine of what's the inside of our, who we are, of our being, of that thing that is in the inside. And so, so, um, I want to share this also. And so when I was reading this morning on the Bible, as I was just flipping through, this came into my sight. You know, I have my Bible with me that has little all marks. <laughs> Actually, the word of God should be all marked every page. Every page should be marked because every word of God is precious. Every word of God is our treasure. Every word of God is the gold that we're looking for. Every, every word of God is, is him. Every word of God is him that comes alive when we take it and receive it and work at it and act on it. So let me, let me just bring my window down because it's getting a little warm. It's raining here. So I want to take you to Psalm 119 verse 50. Psalm 119 verse 50. God is so good because, you know, when I see that vision in my prayer last night and I just couldn't understand it. And, I, you know, I just, I'm like, I know God, you're saying something. I know, I know, I know. And, and, you know, glory to God. When I saw this verse this morning, it is it. 
And this is what he says in my Bible. He says, my comfort in my suffering is this. Wow. So if you're going through some suffering, some trial, some heartache, some brokenness, some, um, you know, just tough times. Yes, those are tough because those are the layers that's what? Incubating you. Those things are tough. Those things are hard. And the harder it is and the tougher it is, the better the incubation is in the inside of you. The better the warmth you're getting from it in order to develop you, in order to structure you, in order to mold you, in order to make you become that person that God is waiting on to come out of that structure that is hindering you, that is pressuring you. So he said, my comfort in my suffering is this. This is David. So we should find comfort in the sufferings that we go through. Why? Because he said, your promise preserves my life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you are being preserved. I am being preserved. My life is in the preservation process right now. Even though we're going through some sufferings, even though we're going through some uh, uh, people against us, the attacks of the enemy, the attacks of the enemy, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, uh, my brethren, my sisters in the body of Christ, yes, they come in. But trust me, trust me on this. God is never allowing the enemy to penetrate what he is preserving in the inside of you. He has a preservation process. And I thank God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God and hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Because whether you're going through what you're going through right now, there is a promise of God that He says is preserving us. That He says He will bring us to light. Why did God say or, or in Jeremiah that arise and shine for the light has come. So it, the light is already in the inside of us. That glory is the inside of us. Our destiny, our being as the sons of God is already in the inside of us so that's why let's not focus let's not be distracted by the things that we experience on a daily basis that is of this world that is of the enemy that is of the kingdom of darkness for a kingdom of darkness has no power to come in and get in the inside of you because you have the preservational word of God you have the Holy Spirit preserving you glory to God the Holy Holy Spirit is with you in the inside of the incubation. The Holy Spirit is in you, inside your closet, inside that private room. He says in your private room, even though these things come to you, it will say no trespassing, no trespassing. Passing. So from now on, if you are going through some things, when you're walking in your life, just tell the enemy, no trespassing. You are trespassing right now and you're illegal. I am being preserved by God. I am. I know I am in the bosom of God. Wait until this, all these things crack out and I will be that person that God wants to be. And we are already, we are already light. God already has made us and formed us fully in the inside. But there is a time. There is a time, a process. So sometimes we want to grow maturely quickly. But God said, no, not yet. You know, you start as a child and you will be hidden. You will be hidden for some time in your life. I don't know if you have experienced that, that you have hidden or even in the Facebook, you are not visible on Facebook for a long time. Or sometimes you just take a vacation from work. You go away from work. Why? Because you're you're hitting. You're going into your private place. You're you're doing something, and you think you are doing something just by yourself. No, God is doing something in the inside of you as well. So that when that time comes, then you become the powerful overcomer of all these things that is suffocating us. All these things that suffocating you that is from the enemy there's no more power 
That's why we can use, we can use what the world is throwing at us to be our layer, to be our preservation layer so that we can become stronger and become more like Christ. So, you know, there's that preservation. And when I saw that, His promises preserves us. God is preserving you and I. God has that place of preservation. Why is he preserving? Why do you think he's preserving us? You know, when you cook, the cooks, especially the dessert. I don't know why this came to me, Pastor Jonathan, because I still remember the fruit salad in the Philippines. When you preserve some things, we preserve some things for what? For long life, for long lasting effect. We want to preserve it so that it can last so God is continually preserving us. We're being preserved and already being preserved in Christ. So, you know, we're being preserved, but we're going through the process of releasing that preservative. Our preservative is the Holy Spirit. Our preservative is Christ. He is preserving us. Our preservative is the Word of God. And we are being preserved in the inside, yet the outer layer, the outer layer are the things of this world that is causing us to be secluded, to be in, to draw more to God. So read that again and meditate about the, the suffering and the preservation and the incubation of God in your life. I cannot just make this preservation. You know, I can help. I can be with you, but, but I can only be with you at a certain level in the spirit. But God in you, God in you is bigger than the Nancy person herself, but the Nancy in Christ, yes, I can pour into you. I can, I can encourage you, but God is dealing with us uniquely. Everyone is unique. Everyone, everyone is unique. And you have been given the power, you know, like Vito, I see you. You are going to do something that I can't do or that your neighbor can do. You alone can do something that I can't do. And that's why we have to be united. You know, the church has to be preserved. The church has to be preserved for as a bride. For when the groom comes, she's preserved holy bright and righteous before the groom comes and not just that remember he said you are the salt of the world the salt is preserving us but all of this i'm just going to say in all of this it is the governor the holy spirit of the kingdom of god that's in us is preserving who we are so take take joy rejoice if you feel like you're not moving that's fine. Glory to God. I, I love you because I, I am with you. I know God's doing wonderful things on you and in you and through you. You are being preserved. So let me say that again. And he even say here, and I read on, you know, I read something else in the Bible, but he said, um, Psalm 119 verse 49, remember your word to your servant for you have given me hope. My comfort in my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. Wow. I'm going to take that in today. Uh, I, want, I love that word. That his promises preserves my life. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. You know, thank you, Father, for preserving my life. Thank you, Father, for preserving the lives of your sons. You know, I, I'm just hearing like, thank you, Father, that in spite of of some who are rebellious, in spite of some words being spoken, in spite of some things that we have made in error, in spite of things that we have made mistakes, in spite of things that we have done that is, you know, just against God, in spite of that, God never changes His character. God never changes His nature. God never changes based on what we do and who we are that is not of him because he knows he knows he knows that we are in the process of maturing and becoming like him so God is a good God and continually preserving us so every day we walk in our lives every day every day 
is, is a new day. And every day is another day that God has prepared for our own sake. God is preparing us for our own sake in order to help others for His sake. Let me say that again. God is helping us for our own sake so that when we are caring for our own sake, we can then help others for His sake, for God's sake. You know, we always have to go back to the source because everything comes in eternity and it doesn't stop right there the word of god doesn't stop and does not get stuck in a person or in a place or in a circumstances when it does feel like you feel like it's stuck it is not stuck we feel like it's stuck but god said he is eternal life he is moving the holy spirit is a living god so god can never be stuck he can never be stuck. So you can never be stuck if God is in you because He will unstuck you. He will unstuck you and take you on. If you allow Him, only if you allow Him to do so, because you have your own will. We have our own will to say, okay, I'm going to be stuck here. And God says, no, He cannot force you, but He will do everything He can to change your mind, to influence your thoughts and your spirit to get you unstuck. But in spite of all that, He still sees your heart. Though your words may speak different, like, you know, I want to be stuck, but deep inside of you, you know you don't want to get stuck. There's still that deep inner being in you saying, nope. That is because that is the nature of who you are. That you are not in a stuck position. The nature of God is never stuck. So if you are in that position right now, do you feel it and know everything in it? God's word is truth. God's word is truth and it is life. So you're moving in the inside of you, whether you see it, whether you feel it or not. But trust God, trust God and believe in God that it is all true in our lives. So thank you so much. Hello, Mama B. Good morning. I love you all. Thank you so much, Vito, from um, Dubai. I know Ray is there. I know my mom is watching. Everybody else, I may not have seen you. You know, um, I, you know I, I am just so blessed. I am just so blessed with what God is doing personally in the inside of me. You know, in the inside of me. It may not manifest, it may not happen, but in the inside of me is where I know and see how God is in me. And so, you know, um, and, and I would like to share that you have that as well in the inside of you. So I want to go ahead and let me go ahead and pray. I will pray some and pray uh, and just declare. And when I say pray, we pray coming together. Um, you know, we lift our voices together. I'm not the one actually praying. I'm not the one actually uttering my voice. Wow. Okay, the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit has already been uttering His words. The Holy Spirit has already been praying. I see the angels has already been activating. As we speak the Word of God, the Holy Spirit is already working. It may be here in Road Download Facebook Live, but those who are hearing the Word of God, God is already working around you and in you and already activating everything. He has already prepared what you're going to have tomorrow. He's gonna already prepared what you're going to be tomorrow. He's already prepared the people you're going to meet today. He's already prepared the, the, the people that you're going to encounter in the streets. He's already prepared your bed tonight. He's already prepared the words you're going to say tonight. He's already prepared the spirit that's in you that you're going to reflect when you wake up in the morning. He's already prepared all of that now. He's already moving. God, the Holy Spirit is fast. He quickens us. We, we don't, you know, sometimes we think we have to wait for God. We have to wait for the movement and the action of God. 
God, but actually he's already moving. The Holy Spirit is already activating uh, the spirit, the atmosphere, wherever you are right now. You're already surrounded with the angels, wherever you are right now. The Holy Spirit is just all over you. Glory to God, wherever you are right now. And I declare that, more of that. I am releasing more of the word of God and the spirit of God. And God, with your words and with your blessings that you put upon my mouth, that let it be the words that will activate more and bring more life. And that this life, I hear the word cycle. I hear the word like cycle, a fast cycle. There will be a fast cycle in the lives of those who are listening right now. You will continually go into the cycle for you are living. For God is the one moving these things around you and in you. You may not see it yet in your physical reality, but it is happening. It is happening right now that this movement of the Holy Spirit... Thank you, Holy Spirit, that He already has prepared. He, you know, I, I, I have to pause for a minute and, and a few seconds because I want to truly see, I want to truly see what God is showing me, what God is telling me. That, you know, I see, um, I see that it's already been done. It's already, it's, 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 it's unconditional. That's the word. It's unconditional. Whew, glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's saying it is unconditional. Unconditional, whatever condition you're in. It, it's like whatever condition you're in, He's already moved you through. He's already moving forward and fast in a cycle. So you're not stuck. You know, God is really, there's a churning. Like God is churning. There is churning. The word churning is C-H-U-R-N-I-N-G. Like, you know, the ice cream. There's a churning. You're continually being churned by God. You feel like there's no movement, but you're being churned by God in preparation to become like the ice cream in preparation to what you are it's already been prepared but be patient be patient but he said when being patient bask in the glory enjoy that glory while you're being you while you're patient while you're waiting that during that waiting process go ahead and rejoice and just expect what's to come that you're already being prepared so that's why we can rejoice all the time because we know what's in the inside and what God God is doing that all these things around us are working for us for good all things work together for good so thank you so much father God I pray for Alva who is right now in Pensacola Florida oh glory to God I just see like a crown uh, he just put a crown on you sister Alva there is a crown floating above you as you walk and I see that thank you glory to God that as you go back to Canada there is that new crown that new crown upon your head and thank you so much for our sister Norris glory to God hallelujah Lord thank you for that powerful strength thank you for that ox strength the ox strength is in the spirit of you mama b and i pray for you to continually do that you know sometimes in life you 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 may not know who you are fully until god tells you who you are we can only know who we are sometimes based on what we feel based on what we know but remember mama b what we know and what we feel is limited what we know and see is limited in our eyes because our physical can only take so much but in the eyes of god you have that strength and I see this that it will not be broken or it will not be shaken mama B glory to God receive it right now that's why I'm so confident and comfortable this gosh it is so it is so full and hard and strong it's just like a strong foundation in you mama B that it cannot be penetrated because it is of God he gave you God's strength the father's strength not just the mother's strength. It's the father's strength in you. And glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mama B, as I pray for you. Uh, hi, Rick. How are you in Canada? Brother Rick, let me pray for you and say some words to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. I pray with uh, for Rick and his family in Canada. Lord, continually to re-strengthen him. Continually. Uh, it feels, I feel like, 
there's something running out in the inside of you. There's something running out and running low. But uh, Rick, I'm praying right now that you be filled again, that you be renewed again, that you be filled up. There is nothing that is low in God. Everything is full. When God works, He works in the filled position right now. So whatever's running low right now in your life is bringing up high again in the name of Jesus, in your family as well. And Papa B, I'm praying for you, man of God, awesome, strong, power, cultivator. If you're a cultivator, God is continually cultivating you first. God is cultivating you first. And the harder the cultivation you're going through is because you're going to face some more harder grounds, harder grounds that you're going to break. Your word, your affect and everything will be like a hammer that will break grounds because what you're going through right now is building up. Oh gosh, is building up that mighty hammer, that mighty thing that will break, that will break every hard stone and rock in the hearts of man. So God is cultivating you more and more and more and going deeper in your life. So I'm praying for you. Thank you so much, uh, Papa B, for always being with us. And let me see uh, who else is here. Peter, I'm praying for you. Peter in Jacksonville. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray over Peter, Lord. God, send the, the renewing of the strength in his body. That this framework, that his framework will be like a lion that can run and chase and do more of the work for your glory. Give him that reviving spiritual strength in you, Peter. In you, that reviving strength that's in you. That it it will be uh, overpowering the people around you. Those who are uh, mostly will be amazed of the strength that you have in Christ Jesus. They will be amazed of the physical strength, the vigor. That's the word, the vigor that will they will see through you. Will They will be amazed of that in Jesus' name. And let me see who else who is here. Peter, Chris. Chris, I love you so much. I want to let you know. I see you on Facebook. I'm praying for you, Sister Chris. Wow. I'm, I'm seeing you with tears. I'm seeing you with... Uh, I'm seeing you like with your head down and, and your heart. Your heart is softened by the Lord. The heart, your heart is softened by the Lord. And I'm praying and I'm, I'm putting the power of the Holy Spirit in you, in you. Be open right now. It's in the inside of you. Your tears are a sign that God is working through you. That God is in you. So re, you're going to get up. You're, I, you know, you're going to be getting up upon that position with the power of God in you that you're going to be powerful you're going to have this new uh new new mouth new power to speak words new new energy to to really proclaim and be the testimony be a testimony for God through your life thank you so much let me see who else is in here um let me see i see Laurel, Laurel Delgado, glory to God. Hello, Laurel. Um, thank you so much. I want to pray for you and all the pastors on Montalban, Rizal, Laurel, through you and through your ministry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, continue to do the works of God. I could see the pureness of your spirit. I could, I could see that God is really molding you and preparing you. Um, God is using you like a filter. You're working like a filter right now. And glory to God. And that is awesome. You are a filter. You are a filter to the people of God and in the body of Christ. Wow. Thank you, Lord. A filter works like an intercessor as well because you're filtering the atmosphere, not just the people around you, but you're filtering the atmosphere from the attacks and the darts of the enemies to protect the bride, to protect the church, to protect the people that's around you and the ministry. So continue to do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, cleanse this filter right now and remove all what is, um, what do you call that? The little things that's on the filter 
you are being renewed to become a filter once more that you know when you are a filter in the real world you change the filter every time when you catch the dust in the filter you gotta change it but God is not replacing the filter he is renewing the filter he is reviving the filter and removing the dust and the particles that's not of God stay where you are sister Laura stay where you are God needs you there because you are a filter in that ministry thank you Lord hallelujah hi thank you God pastor Jonathan thank you Jesus and Patima and Pastor Fatima, you know I pray for you, woman of God. Glory to God, you are soaring. I love you so much. Your heart and spirit for Jesus is so through. Let me tell you, let me tell you who are listening. When she says, be Jesus, love Jesus, I love it. I love it because whatever she says and speaks becomes, becomes who she is and becomes who hears it. Whoever hears your word, Sister Fatima, will be blessed by this word you've spoken. Continue to release that word that's coming through you because it is impacting many if it's impacting me then it's impacting many and continue to to be the sunshine and the glory there in India where you are right now pastor Jonathan uh, I pray for you pastor Jonathan whoa you you uh, pastor Jonathan you are so ready you are so full you are so ready. You have you have that already. What it takes. And I just see. I'm seeing that you, you know, you you're going to get into that time and place that your readiness will now. Remember I was talking about the shield and the and and the outer laying for preservation. I see you. I see you taking out that outer layer that you're now ready to come that now you know people are going to see you much differently you know much differently there's something that I don't know what's holding you yet in that mode but it is coming out it is coming out and be ready for God has that time for you and I want to be there I want to be one of that I am connected with you right now and I want to see that God has what God has preserved in you Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And please continue to pray. Pray for one another. Pray for pray for me. Pray for God's work. Pray for everyone that is working and doing the business of our Father here on earth. Let's continue to occupy. We're working. Occupy means to work and to trade. We're doing business. So right now, we're doing business with the world, but not off. We're not off the world. So let's go get the business of this world. Take out the wrong business. Take out the business that is of corruption, the business of sickness. These businesses are, are flourishing because of what? The kingdom of darkness is trying to increase the sickness, corruption, all the negative things. But our business is we are the remover. We are the restorer. We are the healer. So when we go anywhere else, know who you are, that you're in the business of bringing healing, that you're in the business of bringing restoration that you're in the business of forgiving that you're in the business of be bringing someone into the new thing into the the future and not from the past it is our business to be like our father to be like him if we don't have that intimate relationship with the father we will not know how to operate our business here in this world how can we know how to operate the business in this world if we don't know and we don't have that relationship and intimacy and getting instructions from our Father? Then we will know how to operate the business of the kingdom of God. We're all back to business. When Jesus came and gave us the authority and the power and everything unto our hands, we are in business. You have a business and I have a business as well. Thank you so much. I love you all. And let me just read a little bit here if I can read. Thank you in Jesus name. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Jonathan, for the blessing. I receive that. I receive all the blessings that you have. Um, I receive all the prayers that you have and so be unto me. Um, and I think I saw 
uh, the others I saw other people but I am praying for you if I don't see you please inbox me if you'd like or just message me here on Facebook if there's anything um, that you would like to be prayed about or something that that is in the inside of you so thank oh brother Ray you're still there thank you I'm sorry I'm not seeing who's still there and glory to God um, you know brother Ray I pray for you Wow I pray for you and I pray for your family I pray for Marites glory to God healing healing has begun healing has begun in your family um, not just healing in the physical but healing healing and the restoration in the spiritual unity um, there's a spiritual unity and healing um, so you know I continue to pray for you brother Ray and your family that you are you are elevated by God you are being elevated by God and you you are prepared you are you're born for the season that is it now for the season the season has come for you the season that has come for you to begin to begin that call to begin that destiny to begin that purpose of God in your life glory to God and let me tell you right now God's going to use you more and more in your family not it's your family is going to be used more for greater works and I pray you know more abundance business kingdom work you know just just shine just be who you are just being who you are is who is how you influence others thank you everybody I love you all it is time for me to go I will see you again next week and please uh, you can share this to others if you have prayer requests Vito from Dubai you know he's watching at 3 a.m. I love you my brother we bless you we pray for you we seal you with the Holy Spirit no to all those who are in different nations that are from the Philippines we are all one we love you we're one with you along with the other nations we are one in the glory of God the only place the only place and spirit that we can be coming one together is in that place of love and God is so that's why we love you because we are united in that spirit and realm of love which is how the kingdom operates thank you so much I'm starting to get warm so I'm opening my window I love you all from Florida God bless you. I will see you next week, Road Download. And sometimes if I have a download, you know, I just come on live. And so most of the time is like on a Monday. So, but every Thursday, I will be joining each one of you and me joining you, um, you know, and you joining me. So we all come together. This is our family. This is our fellowship. This is our gathering that, that trans transcends time and place here on Facebook live road download and of course in the Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit for helping us out tonight and this morning here in the United States love you all God bless you